Hi, in this session we're going to visualize that data that we've just cleaned the Titanic passenger list. We're going to uh, create two different types of chart, a ribbon chart and a key influences visual and we're going to look at two interactive techniques, uh, cross highlighting and drill through pages. Let's get started. Okay, this is where we left off at the last session. Let's uh, copy this uh, chart a few times, Control c Control v and uh, just move it around a bit so we get four charts and we don't want four identical charts we want four, I'll do, we want four different charts so this is by uh, embarked, this one can be by passenger class, this one can be by gender and this one can be by family size. Put the family size on there and take that off and we'll create a column chart which shows the number of passengers uh, by whether they survived or not. We'll make that a bit more intuitive by kind of giving appropriate colors to the two different outcomes. There we go. And so we can see that most people got in Southampton and so on. But we can also see the, some of the relationships between these different variables. So for example, if we click on gender, we can look at female. And this shows us the number of the proportion in all the other charts, the highlighted bit of who, who are women. So of the people that died, uh, 549 people actually died, of which only 81 were women. Whereas survived, it's uh, a much higher proportion, 233 out of 342. And by control clicking on something else like first class, we can see that only three of the 94 women in first class actually died. You were overwhelmingly likely to survive as a woman traveling first class on the Titanic. Now let's build an age profile of the people on the Titanic. We'll start with the bar chart and we'll put our age on the axis and we'll put our number of passengers on the value and just make this a bit bigger. That's not a very satisfactory chart. The problem is that age is a continuous variable and it could be any number and sometimes it's actually a fraction of a number. So what we really need to do to our age column is bin it, put it into groups of every five years and we can do that by clicking on new group and then it'll give us a dialog. We're quite happy with the name of the group, but uh, we want a, a bin size with a nice round number of five. So I will say OK to that. And that creates a new uh, column here, a categorical column called age bins. And if I drag that onto my axis, we get the age um, in every five years. And we can see that there were lots of younger children under five years and maybe not so many young teenagers lots of people in their tw early 20s and 30s. What we might want to do is put passenger class on the legend and then we can see how that uh, varies with uh, how the passenger class varies. So obviously older people are in first class, younger people mainly in the 20s and 30s and the children are in third class. We might want to morph that into a ribbon chart uh, what the ribbon chart does is take the category that's most prevalent for a particular five-year band and put it at the top and that might be a more helpful way of looking at it. So far we've used our own devices to try and understand who survived and why but Power BI can help us with the aid of a key influences visual. And when we bring this on we've got an analyze and explain rather than the usual uh, axes and values well. So what we want to do is we want to analyze who survived and why they survived and the things that we might want to explain by are gender, passenger class, um, title, um, family size and is there anything else? Embark, that's quite good as well. And here it is, it's giving us some sort of analysis. We can choose to be glass half full people, in which case we influence survival to be died, or so that's glass half empty, or glass half full, we get the flip side of that, what uh, factors contributed to survival. And the main factor here, what we can see is 
we click on that is that being a woman was very helpful uh, we, what you've got is it was three times nearly four times as helpful as not being a woman and here we've got this little bar chart on the right uh, on the axis is the percentage survival rate we can see that uh, female survival rate was 75% just about the male survival rate was under 20% so uh, three and a bit nearly four times as likely uh, to survive as a woman but there are other factors this title is a bit of a confounding factor we should take it out because obviously if your title is miss then it implies your gender so I'm going to take that title out and it's running its analysis again and it's telling me that uh, passenger class within that passenger class you're twice as likely in first class uh, to survive than not being in first class as a first class passenger you've got a 60 odd percent chance of survival and only half of that 30% if you're not in first class and also it helped if you got on at Sherborg. Let's look at this drill through technique. Let's say that we have a passenger manifest, a simple table with the last name and the number of passengers and what we'd like to do, let's first of all order it so that we have our biggest families first and we'd like to drill down on the Carter or the Sage family, maybe right click on it and drill down into the details of the, the actual people in the family. We can't do that yet so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new page I've called it Family DT for Drill Through and on this page I'm going to take my last name and add it to the Drill Through fields. That makes it a Drill Through page and it gives us this back button, we'll see that later on. A Drill Through page is going to be filtered on just one family so what we can do is we can put a card there and that card we can put the the last name on that it is only going to be one family we know that so we can get rid of the category we don't need to worry about that and we can also come along and build a table with maybe all the details of all the family members we'll start off with the title we'll start add the name well, we know their last name so let's add their other names uh, the passenger class um, their gender their age where they embarked and uh, whether they survived or not so we've got all that data about the, fa the, the family there and the other thing that we can do is we can come along to the page and on the page we can say actually we can choose a particular family to use an example when we're building the page I've chosen sage simply because um, there's a, a large family notice that none of the sages actually had their age recorded the age is missing in about a quarter of them but we can see they're all third class uh, the family and they all got into Southampton and they all died unfortunately but what we can do is we can come along to uh, any other visual that has the last name on and we can click on and go drill through and that will fake us to that drill through page and we can see the detail of the sages we can use the back button to, to take us back and maybe what we want to do is look at the Johnson family One. our next session is all about creating maps geospatial maps in Power BI we'll create uh, shape maps and, and point maps and have a whole variety of maps we'll tell you where to get uh, data to create your shapes for your shape maps especially if you're in the UK and we'll show you how to use combined shape maps and point maps with techniques such as custom tooltips. I look forward to seeing you there.